the man from Ironbark. It was the man from Ironbark who struck the Sydney town. He wandered over street and park, he wandered up and down. He loitered here, he loitered there, till he was like to drop. Until at last, in sheer despair, he sought a barber shop. Her shave my beard and whiskers off. I'll be a man of mark. I'll go and do the Sydney toff up home in iron bark. The barber man was small and flash, as barbers mostly are. He wore a strike your fancy sash and smoked a huge cigar. He was a humorist of note, a keen at repartee. He laid the odds and kept a tote, whatever that may be. And when he saw our friend arrive, he whispered, Here's a lark. Just watch me catch him all alive, this man from Iron Bark. There were some gilded ewes that sat along the barber's wall. Their eyes were dull, their heads were flat, they had no brains at all. To them the bus barber passed the wink, his dexter eyelid shut. I'll make this bloomin' yokel think his bloomin' throat is cut. And as he soaked and rubbed it in, he made a rude remark. I suppose the flats is pretty green up there in Iron Bark. A grunt was all reply he got. He shaved the barber's chin. Then he made the water boiling hot and dipped the razor in. He raised his hand, his brow grew black. He paused a while to gloat, then slashed the red hot razor back across the victim's throat. Upon the newly shaven skin, it made a livid mark. No doubt it fairly took him in, the man from Iron Bark. He fetched a wild up country yell, might wake the dead to hear. And though his throat, he knew full well, was cut from ear to ear, he struggled gamely to his feet and faced the murderous foe. You've done for me, you dog. I'm beat. One hit before I go. I only wish I had a knife, you blessed murdering shark. But you'll remember all your life, the man from Iron Bark. He lifted up his hairy paw with one tremendous clout. He landed on the barber's jaw and knocked the barber out. He set to work with nail and tooth. He made the place a wreck. He grabbed the nearest gilded youth and tried to break his neck. And all the while, his throat he held to save that vital spark. And murder, bloody murder, yelled the man from Iron Bark. A peeler man who saw the din came in to see the show. He tried to brush the bushman in, but he refused to go. And when at last the barber spoke and said, "'Twas all in fun. "'Twas just a little harmless joke, a trifle overdone. "'A joke?' He cried, by George, that's fine, a lively sort of lark. I'd like to catch that murdering swine some night in iron bark. And now, while the shearing floor, the listening shearers gape, he tells the story over and over, brags of his escape. Then barber chaps, what keeps a tote? By George, I've had enough. One tried to cut my bloomin' throat, but thank the Lord it's tough. And whether he's believed or no, there's one thing to remark. That flowing beards are all the go way up in iron bark.